What's up YouTube, Carlos from Compton Balls back here with another video. We're gonna do a video on how to make roach chow for Dubia roaches and Madagascar hiss and cockroaches. So before we start on the video on how to make the roach chow, I'm gonna show you guys some of the insects that I do feed my Dubia roaches to. This is a centipede right here. This is one of the insects I feed to the roaches. That's one. And there's another one there. And I also have another centipede, but I don't know if you guys can see it. He's right there. The glare is kind of bad, but he's right there. And I also have a scorpion. Let me see, let me take him out. And all of these guys eat dubia roaches. This is a little guy right here. Adam, since he was a little tiny baby. And let's get to the next one. There we go. There's a better view of the spider, I mean the tiger centipede. He is really, really tiny. He's only about an inch and a half long. And then we have this other centipede right here. And this guy, he never comes out. So let's see where he is. There he goes. I don't know if you guys saw him. Let's see where he went. This is a Scarlet Pendra Long Gipsis. He never comes out. He likes to stay hidden. There he goes. He always digs and never comes out but that's him so let's get to this how to make roach towel for dubia roaches so first off we're going to use this vibrant life it's a chicken feed this is what i use got high energy source supplements to the Dutch chicken and turkeys and we're also going to use some Cheerios we're going to use some honey kicks I don't have any more oats uh, I, I also use honey bunches of oats as well and we got some bee pollen here that's what bee pollen looks like we're going to use some tetra cichlid food we're also going to use fish flakes. We're going to use dry oatmeal and riptide calcium and rapashi riptide calcium. So, all of this stuff right here, plus this chicken feed, is going to go inside the blender and once when everything is inside the blender, I'm going to show you guys the finished product after everything is done.
after all that is after all that was done this is the finished product on how it should look it has corn in there chicken feed it has everything even chopped up oats inside of it and it's like a powder substance and the roaches love it so after the outcome this is what it looks like and this is full of roach chowd here this one is halfway full because I put some roach towel inside the, the Dubia roach tub and I have this full one right here full of roach chowd and let's go check out how the Dubia roaches are doing right now so this here is my Dubia roach colony uh, my Dubia roaches do have um, Madagascar hissing cockroaches inside I just mixed them all together so let's take a look and I do have heat pads on both sides there's one right there and there's another one on the other side and they love apples and this is all the roach chow and carrots I gave them and they have water so Let's take a look. Let's see how many roaches are in here. There is a lot of roaches in here and a bunch of babies. They're all in there. They're all down there. That was a Madagascar hissing cockroach you guys just saw run past. There's more over here. There's another Madagascar hissing cockroach there. There's another one there. And the Madagascar hissing cockroaches are breeding in here too, which is pretty cool. Let me move this water bowl. Almost dropped the camera. Look at all those Madagascar and cockroach babies. There's more babies down there. Oh, uh, there's only one in there. And there are right there too. The colony is getting bigger, so I can't wait for that. Starting all over from scratch. That's why they're so small. And I don't have that many, but we're going to get a bigger colony soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching.